So this is something that we talked about a bit earlier in the season, um, and it's a relative. So this is a Garicus family, very similar to what we'd buy in the shops as closed cut mushrooms. But this is uh, a field mushroom, uh, Agaricus campestris. As you can see, it's got, at the moment, lovely pinkish gills. They will be a bit more vibrant pink than this when it's even younger. Um, and it has got a, a ring on the stem, but if you remember the horse mushroom that we talked about had this big floppy pendulous ring. Um, and this one just has a, a little ring like this now that it's young. And it's really transient. It's really, uh, it kind of disappears very quickly. So often you'll find a field mushroom and it almost won't look like it's had a ring. Um, it's got this uh, margin, the edge of the cap, that kind of hangs down past where the gills stop. Now, same as the, the horse mushroom, you want to, to smell this and to uh, check for yellow staining in the stem base. Um, now, I know that this is a field mushroom I've picked here before, um, and it macroscopically with my eyes, it just looks like one. Um, I'm going to sniff it. It's got this deep, rich, mushroomy smell. Um, which is hard to describe and actually when we're on forays I'll often ask people to, to take a sniff of a mushroom and they'll tell me it smells mushroomy and I'm smelling something completely different but this is one that really does smell very mushroomy um, and I'm just gonna, because I don't have my knife with me, terrible I'm just gonna scratch the bottom of the stem and you can see it's not yellowing really it's just kind of going, it looks yellower on the screen than it does in real life actually it's just kind of going wet looking um, but if, if you want to be certain, you can always put one in a micro microwave or pour boiling water over it. Um, but macroscopically, they actually do look quite different from a yellow stainer as well. Different uh, stature, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a field mushroom. And they can be, some of the other ones I've picked today have been kind of darker on top. Can you see that? Kind of brownish. So they're a little bit variable. But this is what I've already got in my basket. And this whole field is full of them. You can't see as well as I can, but there's there's just hundreds. So I'm going to carry on going and uh, and see how much I can fill this basket. Um, do press the subscribe button and all of those things. Uh, the bell if you want to be notified of, of videos that I make. Um, and uh, come and join us on the, the Facebook group at Broth and Butter.